that's the whole point now if you see me as a guru what is happening here is then you are unable to make that investigation directly you understand what you're doing is that then you're expecting that i'm sitting here and that i'll give you something which will immediately ignite a spark within you and that will lead you to a place of permanent bliss or whatever but it is just your mind which is building up that the whole whole picture that the guru is going to lead me from point a to point b there is no one here i'm not at all concerned with your spiritual progress i'm simply here conveying this message that there is no doer of anything of any action things happen deeds are done but there is no individual doer thereof but you see this message to understand this message to understand the gravity of this message you have to go beyond the the idea of a dis disciple and a master if you see yourself as a follower as a disciple and if you see me as a master you are not going to transcend that that level of consciousness you simply remain trapped in that limited thinking waiting that i will give you something i have basically nothing to give you other than to repeat this message like a parrot you know once uh, there was this comment on the internet uh, on uh, youtube i believe so they said that uh, you just uh, repeating all the teachings of your master like a parrot you have no experience in this and that so i replied so i told that i'm lucky to be that parrot who recites his master's teaching now see i revere all the masters whether it's jitu krishna murthy or it's ramesh balsekar or it's ramana maharishi but i never had a guru i don't believe in the concept of a guru and a disciple personally i can have love for another human being complete love and in that i can just surrender but never do i create these labels that you are my guru i am your disciple because that devotion itself can become a trap you know it can feel as if i am not there yet and that the master is sitting here and the master is going to give me this or that which will you know which will just awaken me and the message is simple there is no me that awakens so awakening is never a personal phenomenon and this is something which has to be understood not intellectually not just intellectually if you rely on intellectual if you rely on the mind you will remain confused for eternity this has to happen through personal understanding through awakening of the heart which means it's not a function of time so when it comes it hits you like a lightning bolt
there is no guru sitting here this is nobody there is no one over there as well it's just the game of the same consciousness if you want to see it in that arrangement then it's okay with me but to be honest i don't have any power or any um i don't have any capacity to awaken you there is no you to be awakened so it is your mind that has to come to this understanding and it has to be through your personal experience not by my telling you that 